Grade 5, Module 6, Lesson 18, Homework. Number 1. Use the plane to the right to complete the following tasks. Draw a line S, whose rule is X is always 5. So we're going to draw a line where the rule is that the X is always 5. So the X value will always be along this line here. So X is always going to be 5. I'll just draw that line. And B says, plot the points from table A on the grid in order, then draw line segments to connect the points in order. So we have 113, 112, I'll just go ahead and connect, start connecting, 210, 49, Four three one two and five two. Okay, it's Part C says, complete the drawing to create a figure that is symmetric about line S. So we're going to keep going. And it says, for each point in table A, record the symmetric point on the other side of S. So let's start back up at the top and plot a symmetric point to 113. So we are, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4 units away from the line of symmetry. So I'll count one, two, three, four out and our new point will be right there. That is 913. Now let's, the next one is going to be one point right below and that is 912. So the one corresponding point for 210, that's three away be right here that is at 8 10 then the corresponding one for 4 9 would be right there that is 6 9 next one would be right here that is 6, 3. Then we would have, let's see, this one's 1, 2, 3, 4 away. Right there. That is 9, 2. And the last one, it's right there on the x axis, so it wouldn't move. So it stays at 5, 2. So we've completed the drawing. D says compare the Y coordinates in table A with those in table B. What do you notice? So we're comparing the Y coordinates, these coordinates, to these over here. So we have 13, 13, 12 and 12, 10 and 10, 9 and 9, 3 and 3, 2 and 2, and 2 and 2. So we can say that the y coordinates in table A are the same as those in table B. E, compare the x coordinates in table A with those in table B. So now we're comparing the x coordinates. So we have 1 and 9, 1 and 9, 2 and 8, 4, 6, 4, 6. So this doesn't have as much of an uh, obvious um, comparison as the last one where they were just the same, but we can say that they're the same, they're all the same distance from the line of symmetry or that x value. So let's say that the difference.
between two points in table A is the same as the difference in table B. We could just kind of I'll say the distance from the line of symmetry. That's two M's. Number two. Use the plane to the right to complete the following tasks. Draw a line P whose rule is Y is equal to X. So meaning if Y is 1, if Y is zero, if X is 0, Y is 0. If Y is 1, X is 1. If X is 2, Y is 2. So it's going to go all the way up like that. I'll use my ruler for this one to create a straight line. Okay. Plot the points from table A on the grid in order, then draw line segments and connect the points. So we have one half, one half. It's right there. One, two. One and a half, one and a half. Two, four. Three and a half, three and a half. Four, four and a half. And five, five. All right. Complete the C says complete the drawing to create a figure that is symmetric about line P. For each point in table A, record a symmetric point on the other side of line P in table B. We're going to create symmetric points. So the first one is going to be, it's already on that line of symmetry, so it's going to stay right there at 1 half, 1 half. So for the next point at 1, 2, my first instinct is to just go down 1, 2, 1, 2, and say that my corresponding point is right there. But if you see when we connect, those actually aren't symmetrical. What we have to do is go perpendicular to the line of symmetry. So perpendicular to the line of symmetry would be like going through here, so we have to go diagonal. So our line is actually that right there. We're going to have to do that for all the points that aren't actually on the line. So the next one was at 1 and 1 half, 1 and 1 half. Well, that's going to stay there. But this point, I forgot to write it down, is 2, 1. The next point that's at 2, 4, right there, we need to go diagonal through two points. So then down two more would be right there. And our next one is this, um, oh, and that is at 4, 2. 
The next one would stay three and a half, three and a half, because it's already on the line of symmetry. There's nowhere to go. The next point, four, four and a half, it looks like we're going just half a point, half a unit through, which gets us to four and a half, four. And then the last one would stay at five, five. D, compare the y coordinates in table A with those in table B. What do you notice? So when I went through and looked, I noticed that either the x and y coordinates stayed the same from table A to table B because it was on the line of symmetry, or the x and y coordinates flipped. So for example, in this one, we had one, two, and it became two, one. Here we had two, four, and now it's four, two. Four, four and a half, four and a half, four. So when comparing the y coordinates in table A, so I would say the y coordinate are the same as the y coordinates, let's say in table A, are the same as the x coordinates. in table B. And then compare the x coordinates in table A with those in table B. So I'm going to say the same thing. The x coordinates in table A are equal to the y coordinates in table B.